Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love readings. Yes, we are a bit behind. We apologize for that, but we have been <laughs> extremely busy. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. Let's see what's coming for you or what's unfolding before you for the remaining of February going into the first weeks of March, the first two weeks of March. All right. So your first card here is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. All right. What's going on with you guys? You deserve love. You are lovable, Leo. And release your ex. Okay. Very strong cards, you guys. Um, we've been doing the readings for all signs. And there's been this almost constant theme. I think by far you guys are like way out on the left side, a completely different vibe for you guys for the remaining of February going into March. Now with unrequited love, um, what they're telling me is that there's been this theme when it comes to relationships or partnerships for you, Leo, where you often find yourself in relationships where you give uh, or I should say where you overgive when it comes to partnerships, you overly sacrifice. Uh, you tend to really, you're okay with receiving people that are not fully invested in the relationship. And what they're telling you here is that there is a need for you to end that. And the only way to end that is any relationship, if you're currently in a long-term committed relationship and there's just a feeling where, you are either self-sacrificing, you're the one that's doing too much, or you're the one that's working on fixing the relationship or making it, you know, keep going. Um, and your partner's not really stepping, stepping up. They're not really putting that much effort. It's time for you to question. Um, it's time for you to question if this is the type of partnership that you want for the next three years. And the reason for that is right at the center you have, you deserve love. You are lovable. So we have to ask ourselves or go within ourselves and really ask, what is it about me? What is it about my personality that I end up giving my heart to people that tend to either take you for granted, Leo, or that either have this completely different idea of who you really are and they expect so much from you but they're not willing to put the same they're not willing to uh, reciprocate on the other end and you need to stop self-sacrificing if you're currently in a long-term relationship and you feel like they don't necessarily you're not on the same page or they're not necessarily really uh, putting much effort in the partnership and their excuses tend to be because of work, because they have so many responsibilities or whatnot. What they're telling you here is that love and how we teach others to love ourselves starts with, with us. How is it that if you genuinely love yourself, if you value yourself, then you're not going to be settling with people that love you only halfway. And I know my Leos out there, you guys are extremely passionate individuals. You, when, when you're in a partnership or in a relationship, you could be like beyond loyal. Um, but that loyalty, where does it come from? D does it come from uh, sacrificing yourself? And are you okay with that? sacrificing yourself your needs your wants your desires for anything um other than to or actually not anything do you do do you sacrifice yourself uh, because you love them uh and if the answer to that is yes then your intentions are pure and there is you know i understand where you're coming from but what they're telling you is at whose expense are you willing to continue being loyal to people that don't appreciate you or to people that don't really make you a priority. Being the Leo that you are, you tend to, when you're in love, they are the center of your world because that is how you're wired. 
Um, but what they're telling you here is that there is a need for you to really all that love that you put out there to put it onto yourself. Only then will you be able to see clearly and concisely what it is that they need to do to step up or what it is that they need to do to prove to you. And if they're not willing to do that, then it's time you question what is it that you're truly hanging on to or why is it that you're truly hanging on to something where or a relationship that what they're doing is taking taking you for granted. Um, ultimately, that's what they're trying to say here. Now, for some of you guys, it could be that you're still dealing with an ex-partner as we do have release your ex here. The time has come to clear your energy. For some of you guys, this could be you treating the current partner um, as not a priority because it it is a general reading. Um, and it could be because you're still emotionally invested or emotionally connected to an ex-partner. It's time for you to let go of that. It's time for you to let go of, you know, what they did to you, how they treated you. If you are now in a current relationship and it has nothing to do from past experiences, let that be your, your goal to be the better version of yourself. Take those lessons uh, for what they were and let them strengthen you. Let them really, you know, the, the grander lesson here is self-love and let whatever it is that you went through in the past, uh, be reason enough to love yourself and to really commit to yourself before you commit to anyone else. Now, those of you guys that are currently single, um, again, we go back to the, the unrequited love, uh, giving yourself or your attention or your effort to people that not necessarily are looking for the same thing you're looking for. And then you often find yourself being in a position where you question, you know, why is it that it's not moving forward or why is it that I can't really manifest a long term relationship? And what they're telling you is it starts with you accepting that you do deserve to be loved, um, that you deserve to receive the same type of love that you're willing to give and let go of past experiences, let go of things that went awry in the past. Let that be done and dealt with already and move on to the next uh, to the next phase of your life understanding and accepting that th those were lessons and moving forward uh if anything let let's take from this the more we love ourselves the more we understand what we're worth and what we bring to the table uh, the less probable uh you are to put yourself or put yourself in the hands of someone that is not going to appreciate you or that is not going to love or reciprocate the same love and effort that you put into partnerships. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading on to the next.